hi guys and welcome back to my channel so today we are doing a foundation uh first impression this hair right here does not want to stick down so just ignore it please um but anyway the foundation we are uh testing out is the covergirl vitalist healthy elixir um there's definitely some mixed reviews on this some people love it some people hate it um, my sister personally loves it and we have kind of similar skin like it's dry we both have dry skin but I'm acne prone and she's not. Um, basically she has perfect skin other than just being a little bit dry. But you can see I have some breakout and some redness going on today. And yeah, so I thought it would be a good day to try this out. I got the shade Classic Ivory, which I'm pretty sure is the lightest shade. Um, and to put it on, I'm also trying out the L'Oreal Blend Artist Infallible Sponge. I've already got it wet. It is so soft and fluffy. You don't think it's going to be when you look at it in the pa packaging. You think it's going to be one of those little hard ones that doesn't really um, expand or get soft. But it is so like mushy. I love it already. I haven't tried it. But I have high hopes for this. I was going to get my um, Eco Tools green sponge again because I really do like that one. But it started falling apart pretty easily. Um, so I figured I would just try something else. Okay, so I'm going to shake this up a little bit. It's not really doing anything. Um, I have swatched this on my hand once, but that is all. It does come in a pump glass bottle. The packaging is gorgeous. They did great on that. And you do get one fluid ounce. So I'm having to pump a few times to get it started. Okay. So it's kind of a thicker formula. It's not really going anywhere, as you can see. Like, it is... I mean, it's moving a little. It probably slide down after a little bit. So it's not like a, um, uh, it's not like the thickest, creamiest, but, uh, it is pretty, pretty thick, but it's not like a liquidy, like running either. So it's a good consistency somewhere in the middle. And let's just swatch it with my finger to see how this shade match is going to be. Uh, looks pretty good. Uh, it does have a yellow undertone, which I appreciate, uh, because sometimes I can get a little pink. But if it does oxidize, it probably... Let me do it on this side because this window's right here. If it oxidizes very much, it may get a little bit too dark. So, we'll see. If it stays like this, it'll be great. I think I smell sunscreen. Yes, it does have an SPF of 20. Uh, anyway, here's what it says. Uh, lightweight, full coverage makeup. This one rehydrates and includes a complex of SPF 20 vitamins and an antioxidant. Oil free. So it sounds good, so let's just, I'm going to add another pump or two. So that's what I'm starting with, and I'm going to go in with my sponge, and we'll see how this goes. Okay, so it may just be a smidge too dark for me, but like I said, I'm pretty sure this is the lightest shade. Uh, at least it was the lightest one they had, and usually Classic Ivory is the lightest. So, if you're much paler than me, which I can't really imagine, uh... This may be too dark. I think I'll be able to make it work, but if it, I don't know. It's looking kind of orange. Uh, I'm going to look up here in a minute and see what other shades they have, if there's a lighter shade. Uh, as far as the sponge goes, I'm already in love. It's my favorite already. Just what little bit I've used it. I like it better than the Beauty Blender or the Eco Tools. And it's amazing. I love the way it feels. It feels like you're bouncing a little cloud on your face. Uh, but yeah, I'm liking the formula of this and the coverage seems good, but the color, like I said, it's a little bit off. So, yeah, I'm not crazy about that because like I said, if it oxidizes any, it's just going to look like trash on me. I don't know how well you can tell, but it's looking, it's a little yellow, a little bit yellow. Okay, it is blending very well, and I do like it with the sponge. I'm having to put some on my neck to kind of hide the fact that it's not the right color. This really upsets me, though, with that. It doesn't match a little bit better than that because it's really, really pretty. It is shiny. It's a very shiny formula, but, like, not in a bad way. It looks really healthy, which I think is in the name, actually. Yeah, healthy elixir, which is basically you can see like this dewiness here, which it probably will dry down some. 
Um, did you hear how my voice is vibrating because I was doing this? <laughs> um, if you have oily skin, you're not going to like this, I can already tell. But for people with extremely dry skin like me, it may work. I'm going to go grab my phone real quick because I want to check and see what other colors they have or if this is the lightest shade. Because if it is, they need a shade lighter and a little bit of a less yellow tone. I like the yellow tone, but it's just a little, little too much. Okay, so I looked online. There is a shade lighter than this just called Ivory. I was not aware that I was getting a shade that was up from the lattice, so that's why the color difference is happening. But I'm gonna zoom in a little bit so you can see. It's not doing much in the coverage department. You can see all these little breakouts still, this redness, like it's not really doing anything. You can see like my little clogged pores. Yeah, this foundation is not doing anything for me at this point. I am going to conceal and do some powder uh, so that I can see like the finished effect. But as of right now, I'm not loving this at all, actually. But I'm going to go ahead and conceal and powder and I will be right back. And Actually, I'm going to go ahead and conceal powder, bronze, all of that. Finish my face up and I'll be back and give you some final thoughts. Okay, so my concealer and powder salvaged my makeup today, um, which I'm glad because I really, really like my eye makeup today. This came from my Beauty and the Beast palette, by the way. I'm loving that palette. It is amazing. You can get so many looks out of it. This, however, I do not love. In fact, I think I hate this. Um, it didn't cover anything. My skin looks kind of horrendous like you may not be able to tell but if you were like sitting here in front of me I don't know it's just not doing me any favors whatsoever I'm actually going to return this and that's something that I never do I can always almost always find something that I like about a product or make it usable in some way this is just not not no it's not staying in my collection I do not like this uh, now my sister, like I said, she loved it, but she has like perfect flawless skin. It is a little bit dry, but she doesn't have any like flakes or patches. She just doesn't produce a lot of oil. She has almost no pores, no acne, no scarring, no nothing. Like her skin is like flawless. So for someone like her, this is perfect. It just kind of adds that healthy looking kind of glow to your skin, uh, but it doesn't provide any kind of coverage. Um, it says full coverage that is bull I call bull because this is nowhere near full coverage it's not even medium coverage um, yeah I'm just not impressed with this whatsoever like I said if you have like perfect skin and just want a little bit of something to add to it plus as SPF then you may like it but if you have oily skin you have acne you have clogged pores you have any kind of redness or pigmentation you are not gonna like this at least I don't think so and like I said I'm taking this back I'm just not mm -mm, not a fan I will do some check-ins throughout the day just to see how it holds up it feels it feels sticky still even with powdering um, and I use a pretty good lot of powder, but I could tell that if I had oily skin or if I sweat, it's just going to break up. Um, so yeah, I'm not a fan. But aside from that, I'm really liking my lipstick and my eye makeup today. So hopefully it holds together good enough for me to get through this day because I am going out with my mom and my sister. <sighs> but yeah, I'm giving this a two thumbs down as of right now. Like I said, I will do some check-ins. And if your skin is completely different than mine, then fine. But if you have any kind of acne or redness that you want to cover up, I would not recommend this. So, yeah. That's basically where I'm at. I'm going to have to put some more bronzer down here. Plus, I got the wrong color. Classic Ivory should not be this dark. Like, I know it ain't the lightest one, but still, that's not Ivory. Not even a little bit ivory. Okay, so anyway, I'm going to hop off here. I will do some check-ins throughout the day, so just stay tuned. Hi, guys. Okay, so I forgot to check in earlier when the sun was still out. Uh, I'm just sitting in a parking lot now, and there's just pole lights. But I feel really sticky and oily, and I haven't really even been hot today. Um, 
any coverage I did have is basically gone. You can see how bad my skin looks in this. Like, my skin is not its best right now, but this is emphasizing so bad. And you can see it's just like patching off in my problem areas. So, yeah, I definitely do not like this at all. There's my baby. Um, don't recommend that. You can see it looks awful. And I'm shiny, and I never get shiny. So if you have even a little bit of oily skin, this is going to be really bad. You can see around my nose how shiny I am. Uh, so yeah, that's still my thoughts on it. I hate it and can't wait to return it. So yeah, I'll check in one more time when I get home. But I'm 100% positive it's not going to get any better. But that way I can at least do an outro. So yeah, see you in a little bit. Hi guys. Okay, so I'm back home. Um, getting ready to wash my face. I feel so oily and sticky. Um, it's basically just wore off and it's just like in patches, if you can tell. This is one of the worst makeup days I've had in a long time, um, as far as my face goes. Now, my eye makeup, it was on point today. And this is, um, like I said, my Beauty and the Beast palette. And I've wore this for hours and it's still looking really good. But I'm really tired, if you can't tell by looking at me, it's late. And getting ready to wash my face. Everything on my face is just like gone pretty much. It just feels icky and sticky and dirty. So yeah, definitely do not like this. Don't recommend. But yeah, so that's basically it. I love you guys and I will talk to you soon.